Fuck with your friends? I don't care about any of that shit. I don't care. I don't want that shit. Fuck. Fuck. Baby, I love you so much. Aww. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. You're welcome. Uh, sweet of me. Like, what? Um, it's kind of weird to say. Um, I just I just felt like I just... Um, I feel like I'm always telling you I love you, and um, well, I just you never that. say it back. I just said... Thank you. Like, that was really sweet of you to say, so I was just saying, I just said thank you. I think that was a... Fuck! Fuck. Fuck, sorry. Um, it's not fine. I, uh... I thought it was sweet of you to say, so I just said thank you. Isn't that, I feel like that's a, a nice thing to say. Well, I was gonna just you. say, oh, it's a sweet thing to say. It's not fucking I love you. I just said I love you. You just never express anything to me, and uh, I'm just like, and I don't know what the fuck to do. So, you're just blaming me then. It's I just told you I love you! Yeah, you also just said that I can never do anything right for you. I'm always trying to do too, and you're like, you can't do this, you can't do that, this isn't enough. Like, no nothing's ever good enough for you, I can't do anything I right never get anything in return. Yeah. What have you done? What have you done? I took, I take, I bought everything for you, all this stuff is I for you, and I never so do anything. I do so much, I do so much, and you just never even what do you do? accept it. What do you do? I do so much. You want me Tell to me. place it out? You, why yeah, please, you? because I, I can list out all the shit that I do for you. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Like, all you do is you're in your fucking phone and you eat it, because I'm, I'm taking care of all this stuff. Like, I, I don't get anything in return. You don't see anything that I do because obviously like I can't do anything right. Like I, I, I can't do this anymore. I tell you I love you all I the time. I can't do this anymore. Fuck. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> hey love. Um, just wanted to say something really quick. Um, I don't know how else to say it. It's just I've been feeling a little like the energy's off, or feeling feeling like there's something off, and I just wanted to bring up something when you have a moment. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk. Um. Uh, I just I don't know how to bring this up. I just you know I love you a lot. Um. And I'll just I'll just be blunt. Um. I just I feel like I love you so much. I just don't feel that you love me the same way. Well, wow, I'm so glad I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm holding that. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, why, I mean, why do you think you feel that way? I mean, I don't know. I, you know, I, we've been together for a year and a half now, and I feel like I'm, I'm always buying you stuff and taking you on trips and letting you do things, and it's hard to explain. I just, I just, I, I love you so much, and I just don't feel that in return, or at least not as equal, like, I just don't feel that way back. And, and that, that could just be a story in my head that I'm feeling that, it may not be, no, it may or may not be true. It's, it's like, it's so crazy because I literally feel the exact same way. And I'm so happy we're talking about this right now because I do, I always feel like I'm trying to show you love, like I'm always touching you and holding you and kissing you and loving on you and you don't ever seem to care or reciprocate or appreciate any of it. Oh wow. I mean thank you for sharing that actually. Um Oh wow. You know this reminded me of um have you ever heard of the book like the five love languages? <laughs> I seriously totally think it. this is it. That's totally it. We seriously. never talked about our love languages. Like ever. my wow, this is it. Oh my god. What's like mine is mine is words of affirmation and acts of service. And mine is physical touch. Wow, there it is. I mean, this whole time we didn't even know. Yeah. So let just be clear. So when I'm touching you and loving on you, you don't feel loved. I mean, it feels nice. It feels good, but like I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't feel. I don't feel loved. Like if you were to tell me, like, man, Emil, you're really great at doing this, or you're amazing, like that. I don't know. I don't know why that is, but like I feel loved when someone tells me that. Mm. Yeah. Well, you are really amazing for bringing up this conversation and talking about it so awesome with me. Dude, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I love you so much, baby. Thank you so much. Yeah.
episode was all about a really powerful and effective tool that you can utilize in communication that's called I'm feeling this way. That Absolutely. It's just so powerful because so many times we don't know how to express, even though we have all these emotions and feelings, mm. you know, it can come across as like I'm attacking or blaming. But if you can utilize that tool, I'm feeling this way. Yeah. Nobody can attack, you don't feel attacked if someone's just talking about how they're feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Like we have these thoughts, feelings, emotions, we always talk about these yes. things and it's like, it's just data coming up and it's like, hmm, you know, I'm not my emotions or thoughts, but I'm being able to look at them and say, hey, this is what I'm feeling I'm right feeling now. I'm feeling this way. I think that really important point that he brought up, I love that statement of, you know, I am not my emotions, I am not my thoughts. Like we're so much bigger and greater than that. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. a part of who we are. And like he said, emotions are data. They're just indicators trying to teach us a lesson. It's just, we have to be open to that lesson and we can't really learn that lesson mm -hmm. unless we start talking about the way we're feeling yeah. and creating a safe space for each other to talk about those things. Yeah. You've probably noticed in the, in the what not to do version, there's not a safe space to be talking because yeah. you just start yelling and blaming and attacking. Yeah. In the what to do, we tried to really showcase how to create a, a safer space by using some of these really you know conscious conversation tools, if mm -hmm. you will. How do we have a sp safe space? How can one or the other create that safe space and then utilize conscious language to be able to say, hey, look, this is just the way I'm feeling or this is a story yeah. in my head and then the next step and the next step and the next step. So I th hopefully we've been able to capture that for you guys. Yeah, and, and the and other part that same. we, and I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> the other part that I think is really important to talk about is the five love languages, which comes from a really beautiful book um, that, that was so profound and has helped so many relationships and something yeah. we think is so important to talk about mm -hmm. all the time. And just the awareness factor of as soon as you just know what somebody else's love language is, it can be so powerful. Because you might have been feeling that one person was more committed than the other, but it could actually just be, like it could and it couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, and there's different scenarios for that. But one of the most important things to know is that once you can become aware of what your, lang what your personal love language is and what your partners and your friends or your business relationships, anybody in your mm -hmm. life, then you can better know how to appreciate their love language and also appreciate your own love language and know that they're gonna be different. So we have to learn yeah. those things. It's this whole thing of how we talk about like a lot of relationships out there and I'm, I'm, well, I've been there. Me too. Is, you know, we create these avatars of what we think the person will like mm -hmm. or love. And then that person falls in love with that avatar of what we think that person will like. And then six months, a year, three years down the line, you start showing how you really feel, who you really are. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, this person's like, who the hell are you? Yeah. Like, what is <laughs> I this? I don't know this person. I don't know this person. <laughs> who is that? And then there's fights and then there's divorces and then there's breakups. Yeah. And it's like, wait, what? Yeah. Why don't we just share how we really feel and, and showcase from who we really are from the beginning from and the beginning. have a great filtration process yeah. of like it's who you really need to meet? Process. Because wouldn't you want to find out faster? You know, don't you want to learn Seriously. the lessons faster? Yeah. Uh, so we can't wait to hear from you guys. Please comment yeah. below, ask us questions. We want to hear from you. Obviously, this is the whole reason why we yeah. are doing all these videos and created this channel. Tell we us how you're feeling. A conscious community that empowers each other, that helps each other have better communication, stronger relationships, and just a better quality of life. Absolutely. Uh, we can't wait to hear from you. Share this with anybody you think that might really need to hear it because yeah. it literally might save their relationships yes. <laughs> uh, yes. and their whole quality of life. So we'll we see, you you. Soon we'll see you soon on the next one.